Sir. Welcome to our video review of the Diplomatico number no. 4, which states EMA Abril 08. It's dead set freaking gorgeous. Check that yeah, out. That is a sensational wrapper there. That's what... Arima Ricole, tell me about it. Just toasty tobacco. Introducing Lachlan, who I met for the first time at our first run of the munch. Lunch. Munch. Munch. First run of the and lunch. for you. <laughs> Last Friday, Lockie, welcome across to uh, Friends of Havana Cigar Reviews. Thank you. It's always good a pleasure. afternoon. He's fully dressed. He's much better than Kenny Gargan. That's gorgeous, but and, and the aroma mm. is mm. is is quite magnificent. I must say, I take a couple of these out. I mean, this one's got you written all over. It's got some soft spots. So, what are you trying to imply there, tough boy? <laughs> I just want to get three perfect examples. That looks perfect to me. Oh wait a minute! You want a perfect examples, but yet yeah, I'm allowed I... a soft spot. <laughs> a bit light of a draw, actually. Good draw. I like my draw. You has got the soft spot. Yeah. How's your draw, Lock? It's fine. I'm more concerned about you. Um, that's perfect. Okay, let's light them up. That's just that's diplomatico. Mm. Do you smoke any diplomaticos, Lock? Never once before. No. Toastiness. Oh. Gorgeous. Just, just heaven, fellas. It's just heaven. It's this a is... sensational step up from the last one. I mean, I think I've said it before, Diplomatico is, to me, Monte Cristo meets Partagas meets Upman. And it, it has all the greats of each. They do, and they're consistent across the board. I don't, I don't run across too often bad Diplomaticos. A sweet spice, just a touch of paprika in there, a bit of capsicum in there. It's, but it's got some sweet cloves, it's just lovely. Yeah, a little bit of white pepper, but not just, too much. No, just delicately balanced and beautiful. It's it's, yeah. it's unique, and, and and the sheer fact that that uh, Tabacuba can can blend Diplomatico so succinctly year in year out gives me such great faith. <laughs> after what we previously tried, that it can be achieved yeah. and can be done. They're producing 22 million. Monty fours, sub one million dip fours, and I consistently see the difference in quality, the difference in consistency between both. They're not a massive seller though for us. Dip fours, but diplomaticos in general. No, they're not because people tend to go for. They, they go with this, so they go the, the bolivars or the the, yeah, the, the, the uh, uh, and Cahiba, I, I think, bolivar, yeah, partigas. I think it's a disappointment because I that consistency across the board makes them a great smoke. Well, let's, let's, let us get into this first third, and we'll come back to the end of this first third, but I am thoroughly enjoying yeah, this. It's a good yeah. opening, very good opening. Smitty, so first third, Diplomatico. Beautiful opening, beautiful opening right into, oh, I feel just a little bit below medium. Toasty tobacco, a hint, uh, it sounds stupid, but a smokiness, we've just been discussing uh, scotch uh, and all that, just that beautiful smokiness you get out of a great scotch. Uh, beautiful opening. Massive step up from where we were before. Lachlan? It's a bit of an education for me, this one. All, all um, of these sort of things you like to treat like it was your first time. And, um, and whilst I'm still stuck for some of the words to describe it, I think it's, not, it's definitely not biting at me. It's very enjoyable. It's a new taste for me. And wow, it's a, you, you, you pull oh, out God. a good flavour there before cloves. Those, there, those hints there are of some cloves, cloves running through it. Just, there are some cloves to it. Right. I think it responds well to probably what else you have in your mouth at the time, whether it be red well, wine actually, or a fine. We're, we're bringing some Zacapa 23s out at the moment, so it works well with Zacapa, doesn't it? It does. Serious guys, I mean, we don't we don't always wax lyrically about a cigar for a petite Corona, for a Moreva. If you do not have Diplomatica number fours in your rotation, get some. Because consistently, yeah. year in, year out, they are definitive of a flavour. They are true to their mark. They are consistently excellent. And this one here, you're right, mine's just slightly over medium, All but right. not, not too yeah. much over. But I'm getting just a, a kaleidoscope of flavour out of this cigar. From peppers to sweet spice to cloves to whatever it is. What more do you want in a petite corona? <laughs> if, if, if I was give, I, I could smoke these almost exclusively as a petite corona. Yep. Because one has personality 
and the other one is Jekyll and Hyde. The Monty 4 can be great some days and shithouse the next. Yep. The Dip 4 just always, to me, brings the same consistency to the table, week in, week out, month yep. in, month out. Yep. That's the reason I go for it. Let's see how it develops over the next third. Diplomatica number four. Smitty, start with you again. Gorgeous. 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 It is. It, I'm really enjoying this. I'm enjoying the conversation. Uh, it's a great I'm afternoon the on the deck. Slowly getting drunk. It's great. <laughs> uh, I'm getting a hint, a, a nice hint of, uh, of uh, roasted mushrooms coming through that's just roasted really enjoyable. Roasted mushrooms. Oh, just that sautéed mushroom aspect. Yeah, it's a, it's a great cigar. At this point in time, look, 89. I'm going to be I'm going to be putting it out there. Well, it, the first it, Diplomatico, so it's not easy. The first Diplomatico, very, very difficult. In, as far as general enjoyment of the cigar goes, I'm, I'm going to rate it well above 80, I, I think. Yep. As I was saying to you before, Saturday morning with the espresso, mm. a bit of, uh, bit of scotch in the espresso, Week this is going to go down Perfect. beautiful. Week in yep. Australia or on the golf course is uh, is going to go down fantastically. I mean, I, I can't speak more highly no. of the cigar it's than it is. It is a Moreva. It is a petite Corona. It gives you complexity. It gives you a certainty of mark. Yep. It is, to be honest, if you can put this away for 10 years, you can stuff your Cabernetas, you can stuff your, 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 your Davidos and Dunhills, whatever it is. This is a great, great cigar of this size. But I see a complete lineage to this cigar here. Mm. This has everything you will need at a dead set price point. Mm. Don't, don't get fooled, ever, that you need to spend a fortune for a great cigar. This is a great cigar as it is. It's balanced, it's you know, everything's there. This is everything yeah. that a cigar should be. Yeah. To me right now, it's an 89, 90, 91. Uh, People have put some real time into the cigar, the blenders, the mm. rollers, whatever it is, they put time. But it's a budget cigar. Goodness sake. At that price point that this, uh, that the Dip 4s are, you know, you're a fool not to have this in your humidor in either A, high rotation, or B, just sitting there just to enjoy Absolutely. over the, so over the next two to five years. Pick them up, fellas. Yep. They're, they're yep. fantastic cigars. Yep. Brilliant. Yep. We'll come back to you in the last third. Look forward to it. Lock and lock, wrap this up. Wrap this up, can I wax for a moment? This is, um, for me, was sort of like somebody I might meet at a dinner party, who you find interesting a little bit at first, and then you find out they've got a great story to tell. For me, it developed nicely mm. all the way through. There were no shocks or surprises in it, and it was a really enjoyable smoke. Sweet. Beautiful toastiness to it. I mentioned mushrooms. Um, all around those light spices, cloves, bit of earthiness to it. Gorgeous cigar, gorgeous. Right it. Oh, look, I'll bump that up to 90. It's a 90 cigar, it's, and as I said, it should be in your humidor. It should be either A, in your high rotation, or B, just letting sitting there enjoy over time to develop. I can't disagree, guys. I mean, um, this cigar <laughs> has been not a revelation because I've had it many yeah. times before. Just a dead set, solid Cuban cigar of the highest order mm. and mm. I cannot I can't recommend it anymore it is if you haven't got diplomatic number fours in rotation get some in it has absolutely paid over the money for yeah. until next week's review that's the way we estimate it's only we who estimate are you throwing me on this we me thank you who estimate I like I that we're doing the good stuff with that Ken Yep, that's all you can say. Yep. I have to get clients turned up. <laughs> I, I'm keeping this place running. You are sitting here with other clients drinking rum. <laughs>